Hello, my friends. Welcome to the last day of my road trip around Lake Michigan, also known as the 1 million subscribers special. If you haven't caught up with days one to six, make sure you check those out before diving to this last chapter. As a reminder, at this point in the trip, we were in Marinette, Wisconsin, and we started our morning with some hotel breakfast. Now, there was a little bit of an issue, and that's because the binder in our room said that breakfast is served until 10. And now that we were here, we were told that it's actually served until nine. So we had about 15 minutes to grab a quick bite. As usual, I got a little bit of everything, but this time around, I didn't make any crazy combinations. After we finished breakfast, we grabbed our bags and went back on the road. Now, a little side note here, the original plan when we started this trip was that on day seven, we would get closer to home, but stop somewhere in Milwaukee for the night. And then on day eight, we explore the city and then head home. But after talking it through for a little bit, we decided to just stop at a couple of places today and then head straight home. Since Milwaukee is somewhere between an hour or an hour and a half, from us and we could go there at any time it just wasn't worth paying for another night at the hotel for the first time on the trip i got to visit a target store in green bay wisconsin hoping to find some new mini brands or miniverse releases yes my friends the hunt for mini brands or miniverse never actually stops and i just wanted to add a quick note here all the series that i'm looking for were not available in stores at that time but now they actually are the toy section is really hard to find though it's in a totally different space here but I think I'm getting closer. Let's see if Green Bay, Michigan has what we need. You can see the KFC over there. And no. Why are they so hard to find? I don't get it. I saw people online finding them in Targets. Just in Target stores. Okay, there's nothing. I think I'm going to stop at a couple more Targets on the way home. And if I... Okay. I haven't seen this one before. But it's just one, just chilling over here. Interesting. I'll probably get this one, but let's look for more now. All of a sudden I have some hope, and I'm thinking that maybe they're just putting them in different spaces. This also looks different. I think I'm gonna get one of these. Why do they put the uh, NBA ballers and the Mega Gross Minis here instead of, you know, where everything else is? Uh-oh. Look what I found on well, the mini brands great garden, but just two of them. Okay, so at least we know that they are here, or at least they were here. This is good. This is a good sign. I'm guessing someone just snatched all of them, but oh well. Let's keep on looking. I have one more aisle and then we're gonna hit the road. With what I thought at the time was a successful hunt, I got back in the car and a few minutes later, we stopped to see the world's largest hex nut, also in Green Bay, Wisconsin. It's one of those little roadside attractions or tourist traps that you just have to see sometimes and take a quick picture. This was built in 2015. It's 12 feet tall and weighs over 5,000 pounds. It's really funny what they say over here, hashtag biggest nuts in town. Of course, as you probably can expect, whenever you're in Wisconsin, you need to stop at a cheese shop. We picked the Simon's Specialty Cheese store in Appleton. If you're a cheese lover, you probably know how easy it is to go into one of these stores and see all the variety of cheese and just let loose and fill up a basket or maybe even a cart, which I didn't by the way, but everything looked so, so good. A cute and very well stocked shop with a wide variety of cheese, souvenirs and stuff that pairs with cheese like wine, different crackers and deli meats. I even found some interesting flavors like chocolate cheese fudge with walnuts or maple cheese fudge with cherries and walnuts. Looking back, I wish I'd gotten some of those because I think would have been really interesting to try. It's safe to say that at this point, I was really trying my absolute best to hold myself back and not fill up a basket of goodies. I did find these garlic and herb cheese curds and I grabbed a bag and then the Van de Wells milk chocolate, which I know, accidentally thought it was from Canada and tasted it during the day five video. Some of you might already know this, but I love truffles and everything that's truffle flavored. So I was super excited when I saw this 60 day aged wedge of Gouda truffle cheese. And even though it was $20 per pound, I absolutely had to get some. After checking out a few other products, I headed to the cash register where I saw these cow pies and I grabbed a few before checking out. If you are ever in the area and love cheese, I definitely recommend you make a quick stop here for some nice treats because they have a little bit of something for everyone. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love whenever I'm on a road trip and I see these pin maps. On the road, I tried the cow pies for the first time ever and they were quite 
good. I mean, you can't go wrong with the combination between chocolate, caramel, and pecans. I also saw one of these Amazon electric trucks traveling on the west side of Lake Winnebago, after which I requested one more Target stop. This one was in Oshkosh and it was the final one I stopped at for the day. Honestly, looking back at this footage, I completely forgot that I have the Miniverse Spa series. So I guess that at one point I'll have to open those as well. Or actually, you know what? That just gave me an idea. Maybe at the end of the year, I should do a video where I kind of clean up my inventory and open every single capsule that I have laying around, whether that's something from the mini brands or the mini verse series. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you're up for it. These are the usual mini verse. Here's the KFC again. Maybe here where they put the basketball and the mega gross. No, there's nothing here, but I guess it was worth a try. Well, I guess no luck with this target either. Hopefully I can find them soon because it seems like everyone is finding them except me. No, it's not. I'm sure most of the people do not find them. And the ones that do, I really don't know how they do it. Or if their targets just put things out sooner or I really don't know. It's a mystery that I would like to find out the answer to. After driving for quite a bit of time, we got off the highway and took a few side roads that would lead us back to the shores of Lake Michigan, but that was not the main reason. We wanted something sweet and I found another dairy farm slash cheese store on the way there. Now, I wasn't ready for this, but the smell in the air was absolutely horrendous. I'm not squeamish, you know, but this was like my nose was staging a full-on rebellion to the point of demanding hazard pay. My eyes were watering and it was so bad that it was funny. Luckily, there wasn't any of that smell inside the store and checking things out, we decided to get some ice cream. For a second, we forgot how bad it stinks outside and wanted to sit down and enjoy our ice cream. But then, as soon as I opened that door, it hit me like a freight train. As we passed through Milwaukee, the temptation to stop and explore was very strong. We still had time to visit a few places, but after days on the road, we were starting to feel the weariness settle in. The thought of getting home at a decent time won out. We wanted enough time to unpack, take a long hot shower, and then kick back to really savor the memories of our journey. It's almost surreal to think that we managed to circle the entire Lake Michigan. Saying that out loud, we circled the entire lake has such a satisfying ring to it. It's a quiet little badge of accomplishment, one that feels even more special every time I find myself standing on the shore. When I look out at the water, it's pretty incredible to think I've been to the other side of that. It's a reminder of the adventure we had and a connection to every mile that we covered. There's a sense of completion, like we've really gotten to know the lake from every angle and it's something that stays with you, making each return visit feel like reconnecting with an old friend. Well, that's it you guys, the final day of our road trip. A really big thank you to everyone that watched this series and I really hope that you enjoyed it as much as I did putting it together. Honestly, my biggest goal with this series was to make you feel like you're there with me during the entire trip. And at the same time, I also wanted to open up a little bit and, you know, give you a little bit of a glimpse into my life and kind of like have you guys know me a little bit more. The series was also a celebration of hitting that 1 million subscribers milestone. Before we got there, the first milestone we accomplished together was the 100,000 subscribers. And I actually have the award here with me and I bought it up just to to kind of like um, show you how small it is, I guess, in comparison to the 1 million one. Apparently space is an issue around here. Now let me bring out the other one, the big one. Here it is, so big you can barely see me now. I'm gonna I can put it here to the side maybe. Presented to GB Colleen for passing 1 million subscribers. It's also nice and shiny and golden. How great is that, right? I mean, the channel is Golden Boy Colleen and I have this award that is all golden. It's perfect, isn't it? I don't wanna get like too cheesy, but um, thank you so much for helping me accomplish this goal. It really means a lot to me and it's all possible because of you. Every YouTuber out there says that, but it's it's so true. I mean, how can you not say that, you know? Little by little, one subscriber at a time, and here we are, one million. I mean, it's kind of over one million at this point, but yeah, it took me a while and the channel is growing at a pretty, pretty good rate. So that's why, you know, there's that um, discrepancy, I guess. But anyway, um, it's been an amazing journey and I'm really, really looking forward to 
the journey ahead in the next chapter and to share more of you know my life and my love for miniatures with all of you guys yeah it's it's an amazing opportunity to be able to do that and thank you all for sticking around and you know supporting this channel i appreciate you let's get these out of the way so if you were here just for the road trip part that was it thank you so much for watching and you know as usual you guys stay golden and keep on shining until the next video however if you have a little bit of extra time and would like to hang out with me i will be opening some of these fan mail and also some of the packages that mini brand sent me i have one from miniverse and then i also have this one from barbie okay so the first package we're gonna open is this one over here it comes from h in colorado There's a little note here. It says, hello, GB Colleen. I hope you enjoyed these shoes plus the extra goodies. Enjoy watching your videos and learning about all the new tiny things. Ooh, that's so cool. So it's a card and inside it says happy Valentine's Day. And then there's also a $10 Starbucks gift card in miniature form, of course. And it looks really, really good. So there's also a couple plastic baggies in here. One says handmade minis. And the other one says here are a few mini ingredients. I thought you could use them with extra resin from Miniverse. So we have a little bottle. Then I think those are kind of like two baskets. And then these are, I think, my favorite uh, cutting board, a knife and a rolling pin. I forgot what these are called, but I think they're from Hostess, right? From the company Hostess. It's like the cupcakes, but I think they do have a specific name. All right now, let's check out the mini ingredients that we could possibly use with our Miniverse creations. So we got some roses. There are some cookies, I guess, orange slices, some strawberry slices, some watermelon slices. These are all pretty cool and I'm already kind of getting ideas of how I can incorporate them. I also have a little pin with a cat. And then there's this capsule. So it's a capsule with the sneaker series. Is this the gold sneakers? Oh, I think I remember. Yep, it's the gold. And I'm guessing in there, there's the shoes, the golden shoes. But look at this cap. It's so cool, isn't it? Here they are, the golden sneakers. So it's the Reebok that actually comes in gold. I forgot for a second which ones are golden. These look so good. This is a very wonderful gift. And these are really, really hard to get. So thank you for parting ways with it. Now, well, let's move on to the next one. We got this envelope that comes from Logan. All right, so we have a couple of things over here. I'm seeing some drawings and some pictures maybe, but first let's read the letter. Dear GB Colleen, I am a big fan of you, even though I've only watched you for a few days. My name is Logan. I do not want to share my last name, hoping you will open this on camera. I am opening on camera. You have inspired me a lot into making Miniverse items different. I hope I can meet you someday. If you could give me a shout out, my channel name is L-O-G-I-S-A-T-S. -S. I love your Miniverse videos and how you make them different and your own. I would love to see more of those. I love making them different and special. Here is a photo of chocolate strawberries. I wouldn't fit so it will be unattached. With the Mini Brand Series 5, I have an idea for combining Miniverse and Mini Brands. For the buttered popcorn jelly beans, use things that look like jelly beans and have them pouring out turning into popcorn Connect them with resin. Thank you for reading this from Logan. All right, there's a little note here that says, do not show this. So this is just for my eyes only. Okay. This is really cool, Logan. Seems like you created a little bit of a frozen moment with a strawberry over there in the corner. Good job. I'm impressed. And also I am glad that I inspired you to make them a little bit different. So the only golden boy I know, it's you, but gold. P.S. Your calm voice is nice. Don't mind the fingers. <laughs> the fingers are good. Don't worry. It does kind of look like me. I'm not going to lie. Well, thank you, Logan. I really appreciate you sending me this letter. All right. Up next, we're going to open this envelope that comes from Axel in Denmark, Wisconsin. Look at that. I have a mini brand in there. It's the Zuru X-Shot Crusher. 
I bet this one is a lot of fun in real life, isn't it? Now let's read the letter. Dear GB Colleen, I have been watching you open mini brands and I've been inspired to collect them myself. I mostly collect toy mini brands, so I want you to have one to add to your collection. I also have a Frozen Moment Mini and I've made my own Frozen Moment with Miniverse. I hope you continue to inspire others. From Axel. Thank you, Axel. I really appreciate you. I'm glad I'm inspiring you to, you know, combine mini brands with Miniverse and create your own Frozen Moment and unique miniatures. Also, thank you for taking the time and the effort to write this and send it to me. I appreciate it. This next package comes from Grace in Portland, Oregon. All right, we have a couple things here, but let's start with the letter first. It says, Dear GB Colleen, I love watching your videos and you have inspired me to keep adding to my Miniverse collection. I now have over 30 plus mini foods in my collection and I love making new minis. Thank you. I hope you like my art. Stay golden. From Grace, open on YouTube, please. This is so cute. I love it. Thank you, Grace. And then we have this little baggie with a nice bracelet. It seems like it's um, yellow and orange, which is kind of like golden, right? It will fit perfectly with my other bracelets. And of course, last but certainly not least, Grace sent me a Kit Kat. I have to take a bite. Mm. All right, thank you, Grace. I really appreciate the little package, the chocolate, the art and the letter. Oh, and the bracelet. Of course, we can't forget about the break. Okay, for this next package, I'm gonna have to make a little bit of room. All right, so a little bit about this last package. It comes from Sammy and Evie traveling all the way from Australia. Sammy is the mom and Evie is her five-year-old daughter. They reached out to me on Instagram a while ago about this and they are huge fans of the channel, which by the way, they discovered while recovering from a surgery. I've got this package a while ago and I asked them if it's okay to hold on to it and open it during this video. They said yes, but they probably did not expect that it would take this long. However, I want to say thank you for your patience and I really, really appreciate you taking the time, effort and also spending the money to send me all this. Uh, we got quite a few things in here. First one is a little drawing from Evie. I see a rainbow, some nice stars, some clouds. Okay, another drawing. Actually, this is kind of like a little booklet. So a rainbow, some flowers, a nice smiley little sun. Is this kind of like a booklet telling a little bit of a story? This is really sweet and really cute. Thank you, Evie, for putting in the effort and making something like this for me. I appreciate it. Let's see what else we got. Oh, this is interesting. All right, I think once again, I'm gonna have to modify my setup a little bit. give you guys a little bit of a background i am really excited to open this package because there's some australian snacks in here and some sweets and you know me i like trying new stuff and i like my snacks and my sweets so this is perfect all right this is taking me a little bit too long so by the power of editing did that work i mean it did for me i don't know how the transition was we have quite a few things here most of them i mean except one most of them i have never tried so this is going to be exciting so this one is called twisties with cheese life's pretty straight without twisties oh wow that's an interesting smell in terms of cheese flavor it's actually really good it's almost like the um, like the craft mac and cheese type of smell you know in terms of shape and the way they look they're kind of similar to the cheetos crunchy but let's see how they taste That is pretty good. It's kind of like Cheetos, but they're a little bit better because I don't know, sometimes the Cheetos, they have that really strong, intense flavor, you know, and you can't eat like the whole bag or maybe you can sometimes, but these, I feel like I could eat the whole bag without, you know, having that feeling. You know, what's funny. The past few days, I was kind of like being bad in terms of like my eating. Today was supposed to be the first day that I'm kind of like back to eating, you know, good, healthy, not too many snacks or sweets or things like that. But I guess uh, that's out the window and I'm guessing I'm going to start tomorrow. You know. All right. This one here is a can of Milo and I did try this before, so I'm going to I'm going to save it for later. I'm not going to open it right now, but 
Thank you so much for sending me one. All right, I'm interested in trying these. So these are Allen's Minties. That was really good. Very minty. I'm not a huge fan of minty stuff, but honestly, if I am to pop something minty, you know, to freshen my breath, I would rather have this instead of the hard candy. That's for sure. They're a little bit more tasty than that. All right, up next, we're gonna try the Wagon Wheels Original. Eight minis, chalk coated marshmallow and jam snack. Well, that sounds delicious. If I'm not mistaken, I think they sent the package on August 5th. So it's smack dab in the middle of summer over here. So yeah, really impressive how they kept their shape. Oh yeah, these are really good. That biscuit is so nice and crumbly, you know, nice little layer of marshmallow and then a little bit of jam. I said to myself, I'm just gonna have one bite of everything, but I just need to have another one of these. <laughs> Definitely something new. I've never tried these before um, and I cannot find them around here, unfortunately. But I did try Tim Tams before and you can definitely find them around here. And uh, even though I tried them before, I mean, this is a good excuse to try them again. If you've never had one of these and you can find them in your stores, please grab a package and let me know. Thank me later. So apparently one way to eat these is to buy one of these corners off. Maybe I bit a little bit too much, but you get the gist of it. And then you bite off this other corner and then you grab your hot coffee or I don't even know if you can do it with tea, I guess. Personally, I would do it with some either hot milk or some milk chocolate and you put your mouth here and you put this other end in the milk or whatever, and then you suck through it and the cooking side actually gets nice and soft and you're going to have the best Tim Tam you've ever had. I am begging you. If you've never tried a Tim Tam, please try one. All right, so the next three items are all from Cadbury. We got Picnic, which seems to be a hunger busting mix of peanuts, wafer, caramel, and rice crisps coated in Cadbury milk chocolate. This other one is Caramello Koala. And then we have the Cherry Ripe. This time I'm going to have just a, a bite of each of them. And I'm going to start with the Picnic. Never had this before, by the way. Mm hmm It's literally like combining different elements from a Snickers, a Twix, and um, a Kit Kat. Really, really good. Right. Almost took another bite. I did say I'm gonna just do one. All right, up next is the Caramella Koala, also from Cadbury. I really don't get it how Cadbury is making chocolate so delicious. I'm gonna have one more small bite. That's so good. Cherry Ripe is next. Luscious cherries and coconut in old gold, rich dark chocolate. This is one of my few very happy places where I get to try different treats and sweets from different countries and also chocolate, chocolatey stuff and good chocolate. This is how it looks. I'm not even gonna get up to give you a close up. I hope this actually works. Wow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is something very, very unique. I'm more impressed or like surprised of how unique it is. <laughs> okay. I tried so many things in general. That I would never think that there's something that, you know, would surprise me. And by that, I mean, in terms of like unique taste profile, this, I don't even know how to explain it to you. It's like, imagine like a Bounty or an Almond Joy and the coconut cream inside is soaked in like a cherry flavored syrup. I don't know, but for some reason, I thought I might have tasted a little bit of caramel in there as well. What was this, the third bite? Yeah, incredible. I don't know, man. I'm trying to pick a favorite, but 
it's really difficult when it comes to chocolatey like feel that you know eat chocolate with a little bit of flavor with a little bit of something added to it it's the caramel koala it's like that pure cadbury milky chocolate when it comes to something unique and and amazing and crazy good it's the cherry ripe but then you have the tim tams right which they're also very chocolatey and they have that cookie and that crunch and so yeah i cannot pick a favorite they're all really good that cherry ripe though really really surprised me whoever designed and came up with the recipe for this give them a raise all right so now that we're done with that i have two little zuru gummy yum surprises and i heard from sammy that um evie is a big fan of these even though she told me once that she got a rare one and wasn't that wasn't that impressed so around me somewhere they just started working on the lawn. I hope that doesn't come through the video, but I think it will. I'm gonna open these real quick so that then I can actually pause and stop until they finish. And then we can resume with the rest of them. All right, so for the rescue puppy, we have a fun fact in here. A puppy picture a day keeps the doctor away. I made a short about these and people were asking me if the other part is actually edible. All right, so we got a puppy indeed. He comes with a sticker. It's like a little shampoo bottle. Hand soap, I mean paw soap. <laughs> There's a little bit of paw soap. I'm gonna just attach the head and I'm gonna give you a close up look of this. This puppy looks just like me. If I would imagine myself as a dog, it would be kind of like that. <laughs> All right. And on this one, I'm really excited about mini cities. I wonder if the inside is like a clue of what you're going to get. Because here we get like, it's like a bird and a plane and a, you know, airport, I think. These guys are getting really loud. Sorry about that. But I need to at least finish this segment. And then I can also kind of like charge my batteries and everything until they're done. All right. So we remove this greenish ribbon that's right under the yellow one. And that's where... That's where the seam of the egg is, and you can actually open it. Oh, this is cool. So we got a cinema. And then here are all the other ones that are part of the collection. So now I'm going to get to building this real quick. All right, I finished it. Here's how it looks. A cute little 3D Max cinema all right seems like these guys stopped for a little bit so i'll take this opportunity to say thank you sammy and evie for all of this i really really appreciate you thank you so much for being such big supporters of my youtube channel and everything that i'm creating and putting out there but more importantly thank you for giving me the opportunity to try all these amazing australian sweets and uh the snack as well of course all right so now that we finished with the fan mail we are going to open some of these packages that i got from different companies and we're not going to spend too much time on them. I'm not going to go into too much details, but you guys let me know as I open these if you want to see a more detailed video on either of them. Before I open these, though, I just want to say thank you to all the fans and all the mail that they sent me. I really appreciate it. It was so much fun opening everything and trying and tasting different foods. And now, without further ado, let's start going through all of these. First thing I want to show you is a box I got from Miniverse a while ago. Basically, this comes in a shape of a fridge and then if you open the freezer compartment i guess i got here two neighbors cafe series one so like i said it's been a while and then i got some mini brats which i've never opened before i do like the whole shape and the whole concept of this pr package i think it's really cool and then if we close that and move on to the main section of this package like the fridge in here I got two Miniverse Diner Series 1 balls and then I got one of these mini little tykes and then there's this little drawer here that comes with a lot of different stuff. So I guess these are kind of like some extra stuff like I got two of these uh, little tykes uh, boxes. Then there's some mini Bratz characters. Interestingly enough they also included a UV flashlight which yes, it actually works. 
and then a few different packages of extra ingredients so i guess we could make our own you know frozen moment and try different things with these extra ingredients so i think this is an amazing clear package and i honestly wish that i would have you know used it at that time i think i'm gonna put it down here because there's so many things around, I'm just going to get overwhelmed with stuff. I think right off the bat, we can eliminate this box because in here, it's a box from many brands, a Zuru box. And it's literally just the Disney Series 3, like a, a case of, I think it's 12 Disney Series 3 in here. All right, this next one, I've been really excited to open it ever since I got it. It's the Mini Brands Sneakers Series. And it comes in this shoe box and right sneakers shoe box mini brands i don't think there's actually shoes in there but i did see through this little hole here on the side i did see a lace so maybe there is at least one shoe in there i don't know but like i said i've been really excited to open this ever since i got it and finally this is i guess the perfect moment to do it no there's no shoes i think I'm gonna put the microphone here. So here it is. Okay, I wasn't gonna break the sticker, but it, yeah, anyway. So I got six of the mini brand sneakers balls, and then there's these uh, shoelaces that are branded mini brands. That looks pretty cool. And now I'm curious to see if there's anything underneath these balls. Nope, there's nothing. I was really hoping like these shoelaces actually made me think that there's something inside, like a shoe, even if it was just like one sneaker, not a pair of sneakers, that would've been cool. All right, still pretty cool nonetheless. Let's open this small one. So I did open this small one, I guess, but I don't remember what's inside it. Oh, I remember now. I don't know if you guys have seen these before, but they're the Insta Poodles. You add water, watch it fizz, grab your surprise. All right, I'm not gonna open these now, but I might open one of these during a short so you guys can get an idea of, you know, how they are and if you wanna get some or not. Insta Poodles ready in minutes. Thank you for sending me these. Okay, this box I have opened, but I just wanted to show you guys as well. I don't think you can hear anything, right? If I'm... I need to figure out the microphone situation and be better at it, be a little bit more professional about it. Cause anyway, I can probably hold it like this. So this is the mini brands master chef PR box. And as you can see, it comes in this wooden looking box, which is kind of like, right? Master chef, they get that box and they reveal what they have to cook and stuff like that. Um, yeah, let's open it. Ta-da! All right, so in this box, you get a little chef's hat type of thing. And yes, I'm gonna put it on, I know. Everyone wants to see this now. All right, and then you also get a MasterChef apron, which I'm also gonna put on, All right? And then I have my little apron on. So I guess this is a really nice way to cook the mini brands create master chef wearing this outfit how crazy do i look right now and then in here i got six mini brands create master chef balls i think this is one of the best pure packages they released especially because it comes with this and the apron look how perfectly this thing goes in that's very satisfying okay so there's that and then this thing, which I'll probably create a separate video on, this comes straight from Barbie. You know those miniature Barbie things that they came up with lately? I'm gonna move my laptop here. So this is it. Ta-da! <laughs> so it's almost like a advent calendar type of situation here, you know? And I'm gonna open a few of them to show you guys. You know, these PR packages are cool and all, but sometimes, especially since these are miniatures, right? They have to think that people, you know, when they're dealing with miniatures, they're filming miniatures, they usually have smaller sets. They don't have these huge sets, you know? And here they go again. Should we give it a minute or just plow through it? I don't know how bad it will be in the video, but I hope you guys can last another couple minutes through that. I got a card here that says, greetings from mini Barbie land. 
It's a world of Barbie miniaturized, packed with surprising reveals that include Barbie's most iconic cars, homes, and boats, all in adorable mini scale. And then this is kind of like a collector's guide, I guess. There's multiple Barbie figures, and then there's multiple parts of the house. So I think let's open this one over here. So we got a lipstick and inside there's gonna be a miniature Barbie. That's really small though, like if they, if they made it fit inside this lipstick. So this one comes in a slushy type of cup. And again, really small, if they fit it in there, that's really, really tiny. This one is a color reveal. And again, it's a miniature. It's just that they chose to put these uh, miniature figures in different types of um, containers, I guess. This one also comes in a lipstick container. Okay, this one is wearing a suit of sorts. Another lipstick. This time I think it's a different shade. Yeah, another lipstick. Let me see, are they all different shades? I guess two of them are duplicates, but the other two are different shades. And then another color reveal. So these ones here on top are all kind of like small. I guess we got, you know, different figures. And then down here, it's like bigger ones. Now I can finally see how big the Barbies actually are. And they're, they're not big, they're actually really tiny. And this one comes with a boat, a slide, and a little pool. Another Barbie cutie reveal. All right, this one comes with a little camper van situation. It's pretty cool. I mean, if you're into Barbies, these are perfect. We have the miniature, you know, official Barbie collectibles, I guess. The slushy container with a mini figure inside. A mini Barbie land. Um, it's like a house, like a mini house. Let me show you real quick everything I got from this package. All right, here's every single item I got. In total, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 different things. I know there's a lot of things that I asked you to put in the comments, but this is the last one, I promise. Let me know if you want to see me do a video on these. Are you interested or was this enough <laughs> opening that pure package and, and showing you a little bit? Yeah, I think we have reached the end of this episode day seven and also the end of the series so i don't know what to say other than thank you for sticking around if you're still here i have a feeling i'm alone at this part in the episode thank you to everyone that watched this series i mean it's been quite a ride but we made it thank you for everyone that subscribed thank you for helping me reach 1 million subscribers and pretty much blow over that and i guess i will see you in the comments section now as usual you guys stay golden and keep on shining brighter than ever until the next video. Bye bye.